get ready for the second game. A back-to-back -back dance for the Toads. It was just a 5-1 win for the Pee Wee AE. And now the Minor Adam A. Minor Adam Double A gets their opportunity as Hay takes his man into the board. Turn over to the other side. That's going over the stick. And Toads are going to get to the loose puck and come up through center. And he passes out of the race to K. Ryan. Evan Hay gets the loose puck. Kept in there by Quan who tries to get it out. As there was a collision there in the market man. Quick shot. That's going to hit the man out of front and go into the corner. Here comes the opportunity to swing it around. That's Shim. Tried to find Phillips there at the side. He can't chip it out. Papa Giorgio is in there trying to help out. K. Ryan as that one came in offside. Brando takes the draw just inside the line for... Markham as it goes over to the other side. Number four trying to get to the loose puck. Can't get it on a check. Here comes number 19 in his own end. Going over to the other side. That pass over there for Batchley. Batchley's going into the corner as he tries to bat it out. Knocked down at the line. Quick shot from Suter. High and wide. Got all he could on that. And fired it over the shoulder of the Markham goaltender. Kept in at the line. Quick shot again. Back up. Left there. Bruno put his run put his body on the line. Suter again kept it in at the blue line, swept it back in behind the net. First one in behind the goal is McMurray. He tried to dig that puck free from out of the corner, getting some help with Suter. Trying to use the defense back to the line for Appleby. Shot. That's going to go into the corner. But the toe is trying to bang it in at the side of the net. Couple opportunities there at the side of the net from Miller Hope. Get it, make it through to the goal. Backhand can't get it out. Toes all over the Murley. Quick shot. That's going to find a man out of front, and a blank, big save out in front of the goal, as that was McMurray that got stopped out in front of the goal. Comes the opportunity for Brenda to lead it up, with a lead pass, was over the stick, and back to retrieving in his own end is Appleby. Going to move it over to the other side. Markham player fell down, the opportunity to go with it. There was Sam Griffin wrapped over his stick. Gives the opportunity to come up into the zone now. With some nice moves from Suter. Suter with some nice moves. Backhand shot. That one's going to hit the side of the net. Goes into the corner. Suter throwing it back out of front again. Nobody there to take that pass. Tassilo tries to find the loose puck along with Griffin. Number 14 tried to get it out. Turned over again to Suter. All over here trying to get that first opportunity. That's going to go past number 4. Right and fair as Toros try and get to the loose puck. A nice pass right under the tip of base. Base comes into the zone. Going up there with Griffin. Takes the shot. Throws it at the net. Does it within the feet there of the Toros. Tesla turns around with a shot. That's going to get blocked there by Cole as it goes into the corner. Now Bates will pick up the loose puck. Try and stuff it out in front. Nobody there to take the pass. The wall and Bates goes into the corner. Bates trying to set up Tesla out in front of that. Own defenseman took a shot on net. And it goes wide of the goal. Collision there. It'll be the first power play coming up here. And it'll go to Markham. As he's going to get the box for the Toros. It's going to be Griffin that's going to go to the box for two minutes. So Markham gets to enjoy the first power play of the game to try and break this early nothing nothing tie. And which has been all Toros so far. And all the pressure that's been put around. Put towards the Markham goal, just haven't been able to put one into the back of the net yet. Over the other side for Montegolo. Trying to ring it around the board. Kate Ryan tried to keep it in. That's going back in behind the net. Mongolo. Mongolo spins away from Kate Ryan with a pass for Shem. Shem that pass got broken up there by Evan Hayes with a pass out of front that gets taken away by Markham. Up through center. Trying to get around Kate Ryan for a power play opportunity. Nobody there out of front on that lead pass. The Torres trying to take a free again with the opportunity. And they're going to clear it past Evan Hay all the way down the ice. He's going to roll right in on goal and be an easy stop for the goaltender as he steers it aside. Mongola starts it up from center. Nice pass up the, up the tape of Phillips. And now number 60. Five says the back ended in. Torres gets a loose puck and ring it around the board. Mongolo knocks that one down. Mongolo with a lead pass. That was out of the reach there. He tried to find that loose puck with Shim. That's going down. Knocked down by Mongolo. And his own end. 
And Giller with a nice pass over the other side. We got under 40 seconds left on the penalty to Griffin. As that goes down the ice, and it'll come back into the marker man for a face off. Miller Hope will take the offensive draw off to the left of the goal. Around the board for Batchley. Batchley's going to get pressured on by McMurray. And a nice backhand kept in by Ethan Sigma from the line. That's going to go into the corner. Trying to ring it around the board for Batchley. That's going to get taken off the stick from McMurray trying to throw it at the goal. Taken away again by Bruno. Bruno with a lead pass. Sickman's got to try and be the first one there as number four is using the speed to try and get to it. Sickman trying to use the boards and get it out. And kill off the rest of this mark and power play as there's a collision back in behind the Toro's, Toro's net. And now the power play is over. Griffin's back on the ice. And the Toro's come back up the other way. Starting the rush. It's Suter on his own. Shot. Go! Another draw gets won there by Markham. There's number five trying to ring it around the boards. McMurray's going to keep that in. Quan trying to ring it around the boards. Captain at the line. Nice play by Calhoun to sweep it back in behind the net. Suter's going to knock that one down again. Calhoun's going back in his own end to try and pick it up. Then Calhoun trying to get away from the check. Picks it back in behind the goal. There's a quick shot. There's the first shot on goal. And another one out in front of the net. And it's going to get crowded in the crease. Face off coming off to the left of the goal as Markham put their first little bit of pressure on. Looks for the equalizer. As the Toros have opened up the scoring. The goal by Suter. Just moments ago, Lee passing Tatula over there for Griffin. Trying to get around Zhang for an opportunity. That's going to get taken away by you. Griffin trying to get to the loose puck. And dig it out of that corner. With some nice play there from Griffin. Did all he could to keep it in the zone. Nice play by Tatula on the other end. Keeping it in. Owen Bays is trying to dig for the loose puck. Rung back around the boards there by Appleby in behind the goal. Mongolo lost the puck in behind the net, trying to chip it up. Out of that corner from the face-off circle, Griffin's going to try and dig it free. Castler's in there as well. Trying to get on that loose puck. Here comes the opportunity to ring it around the board. Bates is going to cut that one off before you could go. Wang tried to get to the loose puck and Wang was able to chip it at center. Trying to use the board. Dumps it back in. Sixman's got it in his own end. Nice pass up there for Bays. Trying to catch Markham on the line. Change on Bays shot. Drop block there by Phillips. As it goes over to the other side. Here comes Bays trying to walk it out of front. Owen Bays with a pass out of front. Big shot. Draw gets one there by Kate Ryan. Trying to get to the puck and pass Chevrier. Over to the other side. Trying to find it with Shim. Chip past him. Torres got the loose puck. Coming up is Max Papa Giorgio. Over to the other side. That's hopping over the stick of Evan, Evan Hay as he chips the puck in behind the net. And Hay takes the collision back in behind the goal. Moving it up to the center. That's going to get kept in by Sickman at the blue line. Trying to get to the loose puck now is Breda Fair. Fair tried to backhand it out. It got knocked down by Phillips as he comes up into the zone. Phillips lost it to Sikma who tries to ring it around the board. Torres gets a loose puck and come up through center. Try and get around the check. Instead just dumps it down the ice into the Markham corner for Papa Giorgio. Papa Giorgio couldn't uh, throw it at the net. Shim tried to get it away but Tate Ryan was able to keep it in. Goes over to the other side. Rung around the board and gets kept in by Carly at the blue line. Play by Jack Carley to hold that line. And we're going to get a interference call coming up. This one is going to go to... Uh, wait till you see the call play. It's going to be Evan Hay that goes to the box for the Toros. So it'll be a Markham power play with an opportunity to cut into the lead. It's 2 to nothing in favor of the Toros. A goal by Suter and a goal by Griffin. 
with 136 left to go here in the first period. Gets one there by Markham in their own end. Quan puts it back in his own zone. And behind the net with a late pass was over the stick as it went off the foot of Phillips. Toes get the loose puck. Suter's throwing it out of front. Tried to find somebody out of front of the goal. Calhoun's going to knock it down at the line. Here comes the opportunity for Bruno with a late pass. That's going out of the reach of number four and into the Toro's corner for an icing call. So Suter will take a big offensive draw here. Try and win it against Dias. As Dias takes it back in his own end and he took the scramble draw. Dias can't get it past the line. Nice play by Appleby to hold the line. Goes into the corner for Suter. Suter trying to start something shorthanded. Dumps it back in behind the net. Dias has got it. Pressured on by Suter on the other side. Number four trying to clear it out and he'll dump it down the ice. That's not going to have enough to go for icing as it goes into the corner. Trying to throw it out of the front is number four going to the backhand. Throwing a man out of front and the pass was wide of the net. Here comes the opportunity to get to the loose puck now for McMurray. McMurray comes up into the zone, swept off the stick, still throws it at the net and it's going to be an easy stop as he comes out to cover it in the blue paint. It's Garvin in net for Markham and he's faced a lot of rubber so far here in the first period. Two of them have made it past him. Here comes the opportunity to ring it around the boards for number 88, U, And he'll you know, slip it past Appleby at center. Appleby with a nice pass up there for McMurray. Coming up into the zone now. Stays on side. McMurray takes a shot. Goes for the 5-4. Hit Ryan on the rebound. Stopped there by Garvin. Toes looking at the loose puck. Trying to find it. And couldn't uh, put on the loose puck before the buzzer. So the Toes still pop home two in the first period. One by Suter and one by Griffin. Don't lead it. Two to nothing after the first period. As we start period number two inside the campus arena between the minor double A Toros, minor Adam double A Toros, and the Markham Waxers. Toros have a two to nothing lead. That's going to hop over the stick there of Bays as he tries to find the loose puck. Knocked down by Braden Fair. Now on Monday in net for the Toros. He didn't have a lot of work in the first period, but he did have a couple opportunities that he turned aside when the game was one to nothing in favor. Uh, the toes, here comes Tasla on the loose puck. Paul Tasla trying to start the second period off on the right foot. Blocker stopped there from Garvin as he put his blocker on that shot. It goes back in behind the net. Trying to ring it around the boards and get kept in there by the line. It's going to go over there into the corner. Rung around the boards, kept in by Fair, but it's going to go over his stick and out over the blue line. Fair trying to hold it there. That's going to get swept back into the toes end, back in behind the net. Sickman's back there to get to the loose puck. He's going to overstate it as Wang was putting pressure on him. Sickman trying to get away from Wang. He's going to go over to the other side here for Kolb with a shot. That's Miller Hope that's going to block that shot. Miller Hope still putting pressure on. Knocked down by Sickman as the toes are trying to block anything that's going towards Mundy. Braden Farrell cleared up through center for Tasla. Hopped over the stick, and Markham just are able to clear it up at center. Move pass up there for Bay. Owen Bay comes up, in, comes up into the zone. Tried to get away from the four check, puts it back in the end. Trying to set it up there for McMurray at in front of the net. Instead, goes back to the line for Carly. Nice play again by Jack Carly to hold the blue line. Trying to set it up at the front for Miller Hope for an opportunity, but it hopped over his stick, still got the backhand away. Doesn't make it to the net. Markham come up with a loose puck. Starting it up through center is Phillips. Number 42, Phillips comes up into the zone. With some nice moves. Gets in. Bluff. Set scores! 
What a bad break out of front. That hit Carly out in front of the net and changed direction on Monday. So number 42, Phillips, puts Buckham on the board to cut the lead to 2-1. to one. Carly tried to block that shot there. Wound up changing direction on Monday to make it 2-1. to one. Back in behind the net now. For a late pass for Miller Hope. Hopped over the stick. Now the opportunity to come up here for Hope and his pass out of the reach there. Uh, man coming back up into the zone is Calhoun. That's going over the stick there. There's a the goal scorer. McHoney Phillips puts it back in behind the net. Trying to get to the loose pass now is McMurray with a nice pass. Getting it up there for Suter. Can be dangerous. He's already got one in the game. Trying to get around the defenseman for an opportunity. Throws it at the net. That's going to go wide of the goal. Still stay in the mark of end. Stripped again now by Miller Hope. Miller Hope takes a shot. That was going to find the glove of Garvin for a face off. It'll be another draw coming off to the left of the Markham goal. Torres hanging on to a 2-1 to one knee. Quick shot at the net there from Griffin. He's got the game winner so far. That one's just going to roll in on net for Garvin to make the stop. So it'll take another draw coming off to the left of the goal. It's going to be Tay Ryan that's going to take the draw here for the Toros. It gets one there by Markham. He rolled in behind the net for Papa Giorgio trying to get to the loose puck. And it's going into the corner now for the Toros. Throwing it out of front. There's a man sitting right there. They tried to find Papa Giorgio, but the pass got broken up. Knocked down again by Appleby as he's going to chip it back into the Markham end. Find, trying to find a way to get that puck out. Back to the line there for the Toros. Shaw moves it over to the other side. Head and Shaw try for a pass over to his defensive partner Appleby. Appleby's going to get the puck again. Albert Appleby a shot. Kept out of front. Doesn't make its way to the net. As Garvin got... Toros picked that one off. Papa Giorgio out of front couldn't take that pass. Markham started back up the other way, taking off the stick again. Here comes the opportunity to come into the zone for Evan Hayes. Trying to take it back, throwing it out of front. Tashler is going to pick up the loose puck and fire it at the net. That's going to get blocked again. Toro's putting pressure on. Trying for the insurance goal. That goes in behind the net. Head and shot trying to keep it in at the line, and he will. Nice defensive play. Throws it at the net. Tashler was over his stick. That's called Tashler. Finds it in the... Zone again, tipped it back in behind the goal. Tesla got a man out of front and it's Griffin. Trying to find it out of front and dig that puck free from the speed in behind the net. Okay, Ryan's going to try and dig the puck out of the corner as well. Markham pick up the loose puck and start it out of their own end. Going to fire it up through center, knocked down again by Kate Ryan. Uses the board to chip it back in. Right onto the tape there, Braden Fair shot. That's going to go right into the breadbasket of Garvin for another draw in the Markham end. There's a draw coming off to the right of Garvin. And it'll be a big face off for Bade, but it gets won by Markham in their own end. Rung around the boards trying to get that puck free from out of that corner. The loose puck to Evan Hay. Waiting for something to squirt free for an opportunity for the Toros. Bays is able to come away with it, but it comes in offside. Toros holding on to a two to one lead here in the second period. Was two to nothing before McHoney Phillips put Markham on the board. Around the boards it goes, trying to keep that puck in. Throwing it out of front. And a backhand shot that got stopped at the side of the net there by Garvin. Stays back in behind the net as is a collision. And behind the goal, it's going to be a Markham penalty coming up as Mundy races to the bench for the extra attackers. Throwing it out of front. It's going to get touched up by Markham. So it'll be the Toros' first power play coming up when we come back.
for the 65 was a guilty party. Went to the box for two minutes. Tapped in at the line there by Carly. Trying to throw it out of front. Trying to whack away at the loose puck. Gonna go back to the line again for Jack Carly. Carly trying to shoot it. Instead, dropped it back down low. As the Toros move it around on their power play. Quick shot. Stopped it by Garvin. There's a rebound out of front. Toros trying to get to it. Quick shot again. Go! For the Toros, the second of the game, that'll go down as a power play marker. Sudaro will take the draw now against number 14. Wins the draw back for Calhoun. Calhoun trying to get to the loose puck and chip it out. Get that pass, Zang. Miller hoping the late pass is going to find his man broken up as he tried to get McMurray on that pass over the other, on the other side. Now the Toros come up into the zone. Trying to shoot it at the net. Stop there by Garvin. And the rebound popped over the stick at the side of the net. Back come Markham up there. Back up the other way. Trying to get around Carly for an opportunity. Going to chip it into the corner. And now it's going to be a penalization here for the Toros. Back to the line. We're firing it back down low for number 14. Spinning off the check. Trying to find Zhang. Instead Wang. Wang and Zhang are right there for... Markham, as it gets touched up by the Toros, will get the Toros penalty coming up here. I believe it's going to go to number 17, Jack Curley. So Markham get the opportunity to cut back into the Toros lead as they've just made it 3-1. to one. It'll be a face-off coming off to the left of goal. Rung around the board and out past the defenseman. Racing at that loose puck, trying to start something short-handed. Goes back in behind the net. Gets taken down and behind the goal. No penalty on the call. Markham will get the loose puck. Come up through center. Try and start it with you over to the other side. As he collected that pass at center ice. Coming up into the zone, trying to get around Albert Appleby. Puts it back in behind the net. As there was a big hit in behind the goal as Griffin took his man into the board. Chevrier knocks that down at center. Chevrier didn't like the first way around as it was going to be offside. So now Chevrier gets the opportunity to lead it in. And that's what he's going to do with it. He's going to dump it into the toes and then behind the net. Run around the board. That tried to be too many men. Looked like too many men on the ice for Markham, but they were able to get away with it. Throwing it at the net as Lebazo. Lebazo will find the loose puck. Trying to bounce it out of front. And they score! Labazo using the bank play out of front. He bounced it off Monday in behind the net. He bounced it from behind the goal. It might have went off the right pad of Monday and into the back of the goal. It'll go down as a power play goal. So this game isn't over yet. It's still 3-2 to two now on the goal by Labazo at the side of the net. So it'll be Owen Bays that's going to take the draw here for the toes as there's a discussion going on at the Toes bench, so we'll take a break. get the explanation they were looking for and we're back into action here at the campus arena. Close one now, 3-2 toes, Evan Hay, shot, that's going to get blocked before it hits the net. Goes into the corner, trying to set it up at that for Bays. That's going to get broken up by Malcolm as they try and backhand it out. Throwing at the goal again, knocked down by the defense, who get the opportunity to clear it around the board. 
Nice play at the line by Shaw to hold it in. And the pass over there to Papa Giorgio was out of his reach, so back up. They start. It's number 77 into the zone. 37. Uses the defense. Trying to shoot it through the screen. Tipped out of front. Wide of the net as Labazo was looking for the loose puck. Labazo has made this a game down to make it 3-2. Labazo throws it at the net that time. That goes wide of the net. Into the corner. Brady Fair trying to help out on base. Kept in at the line. Nice play by Quay to hold it in at the blue line. Goes over to the other side for Ethan Sigma. Sigma will pick it up off the boards and try and fire it out. Cutting it by Labazo. Now Braden Fair will get the opportunity. He's going to fire it all the way down. Passing Montebello down the ice into the corner. Bay's trying to find the loose puck and dig it free. Man sitting at the side of the net. Pass was broken up as it got steered aside from Darwin in the Markham net. Here comes McKinney Phillips into the zone. Stepped off the stick. We put uh, Markham on the board here in the second period. Cut it to two to one and then Suda made it three one. Toros have yet, or but then it was Labazo. Power play goal that made things interesting now at three to two in the second period. Digging on the loose puck trying to get it free and setting it up in front. Was out of the reach as they tried to set it at the side of the goal for a one-timer. It goes back in behind the toes. Markham Nett trying to throw it in front. On the wraparound, scores! And the toes That might have been Suter again for the hat trick on that left round to make it 4-2. to two. Faceoff gets one there by Wang as he moves it over to the other side. Coming up through center is Markham. Rings it around the boards, back in behind the Toros net. Zhang trying to throw it out of front, taken away by the Toros Suter. Up there for Miller Hope, trying to get to the loose puck, getting some help with Calhoun. Wang for Zhang, shot, scores! Zhang, from the side of the net, threw it at the goal, went through the legs of Monday from a bad angle. And just like that, it's back to a one-goal game at 4-3. to Toros have changed their goaltender now. It's Wilson and net for the Toros. Trying to chip it up over the stick of Appleby. Zhang trying to get to the loose puck. Trying to throw it at the goal. Toad gets the loose puck there. Throwing at the goal again over the stick of Griffin. Back over to the other side. Trying to find that loose puck and get a free. Quick shot at the net. That's going to get gobbled up there by Garvin at the side of the goal. Takes off. And that's the left of the goal. Trying to fire that shot into the corner. Toad's hanging on to a 4 3 lead. Has it been anything you can do? I can do better. As Suter's got a hat trick to make it 4-2, but then it was Zhang who fired it home to make it 4-3. Coming back up through center. Griffin trying to chip it in. That's going past everybody into the corner. Wilson still looking to face his first shot in the Torres net. Around the boards, up through center over the stick of Papa Giorgio as that shot got blocked. It goes over here into the corner for Appleby trying to go ahead on the backhand. He gets it past Dias for an opportunity for Griffin. Two on one. Going up there with Papa Giorgio. Nice pass. Max Papa Giorgio shot. Going wide of the net as that opportunity was spoiled. But he's getting another one on the wraparound. Back to the line for Hayden Shaw. His shot got blocked. Toes putting pressure on. Looking for the insurance. Insurance goal again. Shaw getting to the loose puck. Using the boards up there for Griffin. Trying to go up there with Papa Giorgio. He just got passed. Max Papa Giorgio going into the zone with some moves. Toes into the net. Right past Stephen Garvin. Puts it back in behind the net. Trying for the wraparound. Couldn't stuff it in. Sickman's going to knock that down at center and try and backhand it back into the Markham end. That uh, late pass is knocked down by Fair at center. We're almost two minutes left to go here in the second period. Coming up into the zone now with a drop pass. Trying to get it with Tesla. This gets swept away. And uh, now it'll be Fair getting the loose puck. Played it fair back in his own end, trying to ring it around the boards. It gets past Shim at center. Coming in there now, trying for a drop pass. Getting it there for Bays. Coming up into the zone. 
Owen Bay's a shot as he went for the top shelf. It was in the feet there of Durbin as he took that shot. So we'll get a whistle. It's off coming inside the zone trying to sweep it in. Knocked down by Ethan, six man at center. Trying to chip it into the zone. Toros hanging on to a 4-3 lead here in the second period. Markham will pick it back in their own end. Tapped in there by Tesla who tried to take a shot. That's a left pad stop there from Garvin on that shot from the net. They come up with the loose puck, come up into the zone. With a pass trying to get around fair. A nice opportunity to try and throw it at the net. And they score! Right at the side of the net, number 91 was able to put it into the top shelf. And just like that, we're tied at one, tied at four. The goal there from number 91, Shim, that'll tie things up at four. Again, uh, that may have went off and pulled the defenseman out of front. So that's two bad breaks they've had in the period, which has tied things up at four. Toros went into this second period with a two to nothing lead, but that's gone and evaporated away. Miller Hope trying to get it out of the zone. Knocked down there at the line. Trying to get to the loose pocket suitor. He's got a hat trick. That's going past everybody. Chevrolet picks it up at center. Trying to go up into the zone. Coming up into the blue line. He shot that shot. Another quick shot. And that one's going wide of the net. Wang trying to throw it out of front of the net. Trying to find Zhang. Coming up now is Miller Hope into the zone. That was into the feet. And Suter gets the loose puck. Matthew Suter into the zone. On his own shot. And that one just went wide of the net. You see the net move. It thought it might have went, made its way into the net. The meshing move there. But it didn't make its way into the net though. Quick shot at the net goal. Toros trying to loose puck McMurray. But he couldn't get to it before Darvin was able to hold it for a face off. Face off. 23 seconds left to go here in period number two. Tied here at four at the campus arena between the minor Adam double A toes and Markham as that one gets thrown at the net and an easy stop from Garvin as he's just gonna hold it and take another draw in the Markham end. It'll be Griffin that's gonna take the big offensive draw here for the toes. Off to the left of the Markham goal and try and win it. Markham are the ones that want it and get the opportunity to kill off the second period. Taken away there by Appleby as he shoots out the net. And there's an easy stop from Garden as he holds on to the puck. On that turnaround shot. So now it'll be another opportunity here for the Toes with 2.1 seconds left. And they're pulling out all the stops as they've sent Wilson to the bench for an extra attacker. With just two seconds left in the first period, Kate Ryan tries to win the draw quick, but not going to happen. And the Toes 2 nothing lead uh, in the, after the first period wound up being a 3-1 to one lead too. But Markham just kept coming back. And the way we end things after two periods of play is the Toes 4 and Markham 4. So buckle up, it'll be one heck of a third period between these two clubs. Soft things between these two and the third period T Ryan wins the first draw period number three getting it up there for Papa Giorgio. Max Papa Giorgio tried to get around Shim. That's not gonna happen as Kenny Phillips moves it over to the other side, shot from the line, tipped in the front, right pad save that came out quick from Garvin on that deflection. 
from Papa Giorgio right in front. Papa Giorgio getting to the loose puck in his own end. Trying to move it over to the other side for Griffin as he's going to lead it in. Griffin tries to find Tate Ryan, but it got broken up at center. And now the opportunity here, right onto the stick of Papa Giorgio going to the net. Papa Giorgio to Griffin. Pass was bouncing over Griffin's stick. Ringing it around the boards for Kolb. Kolb will get the loose pass here from Markham and lead it up over there for Shim. Over the stick of Shim, so he gets the release puck. Going up there with Phillips again. Phillips with a shot at the net. Mundy's back in net for the Toros. Late pass up through center, coming up into the zone. With some nice moves is Griffin, trying to get around the check of Chevalier. Throws it at the net, a big stop there from Darvin. It just kicked it aside with the stick. Shim gets the opportunity to clear it out. Can't get it past that, will be at the line. Chip back down low for Griffin, trying to get away from Zhang in behind the net. Zhang will have it in behind the goal. Go for a lead pass. That's going to get kept in. Nice play by Hayden Shaw. Now he's going to try and step into a shot. And it got blocked by Zhang before it went to the net. Zhang will get the loose puck. Zhang starting it up through center. Going for a lead pass over to the other side. Just dumped into the toes end. Throwing it back down low. Trying for a back end. That's going to roll in wider than that. Just started period number three here. This is the first game of the tournament for the Toros. Going for a lead pass with that other reach. Dian tries to put it back in there for Markham as we get a whistle. We got a little draw just inside the blue line. Toros come up with a loose puck. Here comes Tashley into the zone for Tashley's shot. Got blocked. Went into the corner trying to walk it out of front. Hato and Bays there. Hopped over the stick. Kept in by Sickman though. Sickman shot. Trying to find it in the feet. Over the stick of Tesla. Trying to turn and fire. Colin Tesla trying to get to the loose puck and get it away from the check. Knocked down by Bays in the corner. Owen Bays trying to walk it out of front. With some nice moves. Takes it to the net. Tries for the wraparound out of front. And a nice stop there from Garvin. I don't know if it made its way to the net or not. Or whether the defense was able to block it before he could get a shot through. Guy trying to get a free. Here comes the opportunity for Wang to come up into the zone. Going up there with you. Trying for a backhand with Wang. He's going to go into the toes end and lose it. Here comes an opportunity for Tassel that hops over his stick. Goes into the corner for Cole Tassel trying to get to the loose puck with Bayes. He got to get away from Diane and for an opportunity he lost it. So Diane gets the opportunity to clear it around the board. Can't get it out of the zone as Sickman held the blue line. Tripping it around the board there for Labazo. He's got a goal in the game. He made it three to two at one point in time. Coming up into the zone. First shot is not going to get make its way through. So that got blocked there by the Toros. Bates trying to get to the loose puck. Not before Mongolo. Toros get the loose puck there. Bates over to the other side for Miller Hope. Ran out of room. Lost it to Batsley. Batsley comes up into the zone. Stepped off the stick. Toros get the loose puck for Suter. Matthew Suter was able to chip it out. Mongolo for the Toros in there with Suter. Here goes Matthew Suter. Shot. Rung it up the post. Gets his own rebound. Shot. Shoots it in on goal. And it gets stopped there from... Garvin, who had some help in behind him as that rang the post in behind the goal, but was able to control his own rebound and stop Suter from giving the toes back their lead. It'll be a face-off coming off to the left of the goal. Zhang's going to go off to the side. McCunney Phillips will take it for Markham. Quick shot, thrown at the net. Shot, hit the side of the post. That shot from the line from Calhoun had eyes. And it just made it back off the end post and went through the crease area. McMurray shot, throw it out of front. Middle hope tries to get to the loose puck. It does McKinney fill up the center. A collision there with Calhoun as he tried to find the loose puck. McKinney Phillips gets it again. Trying to backhand it in. Here comes the opportunity coming up here now for number 77, McMurray. McMurray coming into the zone. Sets a shot. Stopped there with the, with the glove hand of Garvin. Was able to get enough of his glove on it. 
to steer it off to the left of the goal. Chevalier goes back in his own end. Trying to tip it out. Tapped in at the line. Trying to get a shot through from the blue line. That's going to try and find the net. Toes putting pressure on. Knocked down by Shim. Shim has got the tying goal. That happened back in the second period. Coming up into the zone now is Matthew Suter. Suter had a stick off his stick. And McCunney Phillips was able to collide with McMurray right, right there at the blue line. Toes keep it in the zone. Chevrier tries to use the boards and get it out. Toes get a loose puck and Appleby knocked it back in. Uh, and that's going to be an offside call. So it'll be a draw just outside the blue line. 9.38 left to go here in the game. We're tied here at four at the Campus Arena at the Oshawa Cup Tournament. Been an exciting day so far. The Pee A.E. Toros knocked off the Richmond Health Stars before this. Five to one. Up there for you. It's gonna go back in behind the net for Diane. Trying to use the board. Moves it up there for you. Hopped over the stick. Okay, Ryan goes into the corner. Gonna use it. Lose it there to you. Coming up through center. You gotta get around the check in the zone of Appleby as he tries to get to the loose puck. Thrown at the net. And he met a man sitting right at the front of the goal. It was just out of the reach, so that could have led to a dangerous opportunity for Markham. Coming up here for Max Papagiorgio into the zone. With some nice moves, Papagiorgio trying to have a finish shot. Left pad stopped there from Garvin, and he's going to gobble it up as Kate Ryan was looking for a rebound out in front. So another draw will come off to the right of the goal. Owen Bays lost the draw. Pang gets it back in his own end, rings it around the board. So Labazo. Labazo trying to get it out. You can't get it past Tassler at the line. Nice play by Cole Tassler with some moves. Gets around Batsley. Throws it at the net. Quick shot. That's going to bounce in wide of the net. Batsley will get the loose puck. Ring it around the boards. Kept in by Fair at the line. Brady Fair uses the other side for Sigma. Back up. Blocked there by Labazo. Toros putting pressure on. Looking through that first goal. Lead goal again. Batsley is able to spring Labazo. Labazo getting to the loose puck. Trying to go in on a break. One on one against Bundy and scores! Labazo with his second of the game puts it through the leg of Bundy to make it 5 4 for Markham. 8 10 left to go, and now the Torres find themselves in a familiar, familiar situation in this game. They're down by a goal now. Much more shot. Right pad stopped there from Garvin. Back to the line. Quick shot. That's going to get blocked there as Cole put his body on the line. Had to give his hand a little shake after he blocked that shot. Kate Ryan on the loose puck, coming up into the zone, getting around the check, has McMurray there, throws it at the goal, steered aside by Garvin. Toes throwing it all at the net now, looking for the tire. Nice play by Carly to chip it back down left for Miller Hope. Trying to walk it out of front, drops it down low for Suter. He's going to find McMurray at the front, there's a loose puck at the front, and Garvin is going to find it with his gloves in the blue paint and hold on to it, and also hold on to the 5-4 lead for Markham. Okay, Ryan will take a big offensive draw. Tried to win it with his feet. He got tied up. Pat Papa Giorgio getting on the loose puck. Max Papa Giorgio goes into the corner. Sets up Kate Ryan. Shot. Hits the mask there of Darwin at his foot. As the Toros are firing everything they can at Darwin in the Markham men. And now trying to get that, that goal by Labazo back. Face off off to the right of the goal. Nice clean win by Cam Ryan. Kate Ryan. Kate Ryan trying to fire it around the board. Papa Giorgio's going into the corner. Max Papa Giorgio trying to dig that puck free out of the corner. Yu is going to ring it around. Tapped in at the line. Nice play there by Carly who takes a shot. Tips out of front. Doesn't make it to the goal. That's going to get cleared out by Calhoun who tries to pick it up. Calhoun lost the puck there to Wang as he tries to get to it. And the total Kate Ryan comes in with Griffin. Takes his shot anyway. That's going to go wide. Griffin's going into the corner with a shot. That's going to find its way into the corner for Kate Ryan. Max Papa Giorgio digging on the loose puck in the corner. Trying to get away from the check with a lead pass for you. You with some nice moves to get around Griffin. To lead it into the zone. Drops it back to the line. Nobody there to take that pass. Toes get to the loose puck. Nice pass over there for Papa Giorgio into the zone. Max Papa Giorgio trying to start a rush. Dropped it there for a kick. Kate Ryan 
gets taken down. That's going to be a penalty. And it's going to go to number 88, you taking down Tate Ryan right here in front of us. So the toes get the opportunity they're looking for. They get a power play to try and tie things up at five. It's going to be a draw. Cone off to the right of the goal. Gets one there by the toes. Trying to shoot it. And couldn't get it through. There was Hayden Shaw. And Markham just trip it down the ice. First one to get back there with a lead pass. And that was out of the reach of Owen Bays as he's going into the corner. First one there, nice hustle by Bays, throwing it out of front, and it just up over the stick of Evan Hay. Evan Hayes using the backhand. Nobody there but McConey to fill up to dump it out for Markham. McConey Phillips still on it. With a dog and a bone on that loose puck, clears it out. Move up through center. Here comes the opportunity for Suter into the zone. Matthew Suter with a hat trick already, trying to get around Cavalier. Throws it up and up for Bays out of his reach, as that was right in his wheelhouse, just out of his reach at the side of the net, though. Taken down right here in front of us was Evan Hay. Suter picks up the loose puck, back ends it up front, tried to find Owen Bays. Back to the line again. Nice play by Appleby to hold it in. Over to the other side for Shaw. Shaw shot. A block there by Skim. Turns around shot. Stopped there by Garvin with an Hay was able to find enough room from the side of the net to find a hole past Darwin to tie things up at five. That's going down the ice. It'll come back into the Markham end for a face off. Suter will take a big offensive draw. Matthew Suter gets away from the test. Try to shoot it. Miller Hope gets the rebound. Back ends it at the net. Matthew Suter shot. Stop there. He got all he wanted to on the shot. Just didn't get enough of it to get it past Garvin on that. Batchley with a lead pass. Broken up at center there by Ethan Sigma. Sigma coming into the zone. Shot. That's going to find the Markham crest of Garvin and he holds on to it in the blue paint. Okay, Ryan. Clean win back to Cole Tackler. Shot. I hit the side of the net. Tate Ryan will get on the loose puck. Over there for Griffin on the other side. Griffin's got a goal in the game. He got the second one for the Toros in the first period. Starting it up through center. Nice play by Tate Ryan to hold him out at the line. Trying to ring it around the board. Kept in by Sigma. And now there's going to be a Toros penalty as Sigma tripped him up at just outside the Markham blue line. So just like the Toros got a power play moments ago, it'll be a Markham power play for the opportunity to go back up by a goal. McCunny Phillips will take the draw versus Tate Ryan, the captain of the minor Adam AA Toros. Toros have just got to try and get the puck and fire it out now. Coming back into the zone. Carly will take it back in his own end. Jack Carly rings it around the boards. That'll be a captain at the line there. By number 67 as he tries to keep it in the Toro's end. The battle on the loose puck trying to get it free. Toro's get it. Can't get it past the line pass. Man, Lee pass. Trying to get to it is Tesla. Pull Tesla. Can't get there. Nice play by Das to cut him off. Tate Ryan gets the loose puck though. Tate Ryan trying to walk it out of front. Uses the boards back to the line. Trying to get a shot through to the net. That got blocked too before it hit the goal. 
K. Ryan trying to catch the loose puck and he does. A nice defensive play to chip it up there for Tesla. Here comes Ryan again. K. Ryan getting around the check. Got around. Guy as well tried to go back to the line there for Tesla. K. Ryan shot. That's going to hit the side of the net. Ryan picks it back in behind his own goal for Markham. Can't get it past the line. A little trip. And we're getting a penalty on that. As uh, Hayden Shaw got tripped up. So we'll play four on four hockey for 50 seconds. And then the Toros will go to their power play for a minute and 50. It'll be Kolb that's going to the box. Number seven for Markham. Three minutes left to go here in an exciting game. Five to five here at the Campus Arena. Game number one for the Minor Adam AA Toros of this Oshawa Cup. They'll play again in a couple hours when they take on Stouffville, who lost their first game to Gloucester. Tang trying to get to the loose puck, trying to ring it around the boards, got pressured on there by Suter, trying to throw it out in front. Bays trying to find the loose puck. Suter's in there digging as well. Matthew Suter turns the fire. That one's going wider than that as he tried to pick the right post. Bays uses the line back to for Appleby. Appleby shot. That could stop there with the stick of Garvin. Trying to keep it into the line. He fell. He fell down at the line. Shaw did everything he could while he was on his back, but couldn't keep it in. 13 seconds left on the penalty to Sigma. Turned over there to Owen Bays coming into the zone. Bays from the side. Just fired it. Tried to pick that corner. Throwing it wide. Picked off there by Wang coming into the zone. Wang got tripped up there as the toes are going off on a line change. Back, knocked back in there by Baxley into the toes end. Two minutes left to go. Right up there for Bays. Bays trying to start a three on three. Bays drops it for Suter. Couldn't shoot the puck. He had his target. He was ready to pull the trigger and just didn't have the puck that time. Suter throwing it out of front. Hit the left skate there of Zhang. Still gets it back again. Gets it past Labazo. Back to the line for Shaw. He's going to chip it down low for Suter again. Matthew Suter trying to walk it out of front. Goes in behind the goal. Labazo tries to ring it around the board. Stands on it. That might be a break here for the toes. Throwing it at the net. Stopped there with a blocker hand of Garvin. And he's going to pounce on it for another draw. Another draw coming off to the left. 125 left to go here in the game. Uh, that is Shim who tries to get it out. Couldn't get it past Carly at the blue line. Throwing it out of the back in shot from Peter. Peter was able to find some room in between the five hole of Garvin to make it six to five. So now you gotta wonder when Garvin's gonna go to the bench for the extra attacker. It's not gonna be now because Tay Ryan fires it in behind the net. We're reaching. And we are now in the last minute of play of the third period. K. Ryan jumps it back in the toes. Just got to keep it in the Markham end. K. Ryan got taken down before he threw it to the net. That's going to get kept in by Sigma at the line. Toes putting pressure on, so there's no opportunity for Garvin to go to the bench for an extra attacker. Throwing it out of front. K. Ryan a shot. That doesn't make it the way to the net. K. Ryan on the rebound. Backhands it down left for Shooter. Man out of front. Tried for the bank out of front. That uh, worked for Labazo earlier, but it doesn't work for Suter here. Now, Markham gets into the zone. Pull the goalie back in. Shot stopped there by Mundy. Uh, Mundy with a huge stop. Markham had the extra attacker on. Pull has got the loose puck with six months. Dumps it down the ice. With nine seconds left, get will go for an icing call. Another job coming off to the left. 125 left to go here in the game. Uh, that is, the family tries to get it out. Trying to get a pass. Charlie at the blue line. Going to the left side. Back to the top. Seven seconds is all that stands in the way of the Toros coming out of here with a 6-5 victory and start off their tournament on the right track. And they win the draw. That should about do it as they kick it back in behind their own net. And they're going to fire it down. A late goal by Matthew Suter on the power play. Prince will be the winner. 
as a minor item may minor item double edge pros. Survivor Spear against Markham and take a six to five win. So a great day for the Toros so far. The Pee Wee AE Toros won five to one over Richmond Hill. And now the Minor Adam Double A Toros have come up with a six to five victory over Markham and they will play Showville in a couple hours. I'm the voice of MJ Broadcasting, Mike Jackman.